Hi there, I had a request to play another one of my diamond discs. This one is the one that's only got this label on the one side. If I turn it over, see there's absolutely nothing on it at all, just blank. I'd never come across it before, but anyway, that's what it is. So I'm again using a stereo cartridge wired out of phase with a 0 0.2. Uh, seven millimeter uh, stylus on it. It seems to work the best on these, and it's set for eighty on here. Heinrich Brock was a well-known composer of songs and a teacher of singing. In 1837, he became leader of the orchestra of the famous Josef Stadt Theater in Vienna, and in 1840, he led the court opera. His popularity was mainly due to his songs of which perhaps the best known is Doc Alpenhorn. He wrote generally in a florid coloratura style and made several vocal adaptations of the original airs of his contemporaries. Such an adaptation is this theme and variations on an air from Donizetti's opera, The Daughter of the Regiment. The role of Marie in this favorite opera is one in which Frieda Hempel has achieved a noteworthy success. Jonas Zetti himself always wrote dashing melodies, and in this one, the brilliancy and flexibility of her wonderful voice are perfectly displayed. The Daughter of the Regiment was first produced at the Opera Comique Paris on February 11, 1840. The same year it was given in Milan, and two years later in Berlin at the Royal Opera. So popular did it become that during the next 60 years, on that stage alone, it was given over 250 times. In America, Jenny Lynn, Patty, Sam Grish, and many other great artists have appeared as Marie. The opera today is included in the standard repertoire of the Metropolitan Company, and now Frida Hempel is considered the best of all interpreters of the main part. Frida Hempel made her American operatic debut at the Metropolitan in January 1913. The opera was made know, and this young singer introduced herself to her new public in the role of Marguerite. Since that night, her fame in America has constantly grown. Until now, she is one of the greatest of all operatic sopranos. The roles in which she has achieved most success are those of Mimi in Bohème, Marguerite in Faust, Violetta in La Traviata, Rosina in The Barber of Seville, and Marie in The Daughter of the Regiment. In addition to her fame as a lyric and coloratura operatic soprano, she has been very successful on the American concert stage. Music lovers all over the country who have not been fortunate enough to hear her at the Metropolitan know her through these concert engagements. This is one of the first of a number of magnificent recreations Mr. Edison has made of her voice.
Well, there we go, such as it is, just handheld with my iPhone.